I'm just like Yosuke, except I can actually go to the bathroom. Uh, I don't see a way in or out. Well, if only you two dunderheads wouldn't have been crazy. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I have a very important date. I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Well, there are stairs over there. We're doomed. Let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? Oh, shit, let me put her medicine in the bag real quick. Blood phonons. Let's put this right here for now. We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but it really is creepy in here with all this no ambient noise. Track, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Mm, that's not. That doesn't stick out at all. What is this place? Feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly Luke is see. always a bitch. Either that or like a Casanova or And he's got one of those voices, you know, like they he's typecast as like a sensitive boy. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I haven't heard him in anything outside of like Tales of the Abyss and like he was whiny as Erator and wow. Why didn't you come find me? He's just typecast to be a little sensitive. I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but It seems there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Hey, keep up, Chia, you don't wanna get left behind. Man, it is kind of like a. Hey, like is it a, me or is the fog lighter here? Weird. It's like Silent Hilly. It really is. Lol, that Tim Burton door. <laughs> yeah. No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Oh, sorry. Huh? What the? Oh God. It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. I mean, these are pictures of that lady that was uh, the one who got cheated on. She's not the one who got murdered. Can't you like go outside? Going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding! It's just like when we were kids, except I don't know you that wrong. I can't go if everyone's watching. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Been there. Like I care. Just like walk around the corner, dude. Anyways, what's with this? And guys, stop talking. I need to concentrate. Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. This Anka singer. Hey, there's like a noose there. This person has a weird taste in art. Yeah. This chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. Man, how meta. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. We're solving a mystery here. And I'm not feeling so good. Oh, okay. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. 
finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh, God. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are oh, you shit, guys? it's Sam Regal. The whole cast of fucking... Well, you know, except not Luke, but the whole cast of Critical Roles here. It's so bizarre. I mean, it's not really, it's cool that like all these voice actors are friends IRL and do tabletop gaming, but it's like weird, like watching them at work. What are you? Is this a dream? What is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. Are you the murderer? You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Oh, look, there are chalk, there are like chalk drawings on the floor. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? So this is going to be like a murder mystery type thing. I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? I'm going to yell at you. What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Too many questions. For some reason, uh, I feel I like I can hide you. behind you, main character. Anyways, you should hurry back. Well, how do we get out, sir? What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Well, you didn't say that the first time. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? Game companies How? usually hire certain groups of people instead of individuals. They're all probably part of the same org. Probably. Where did those TVs come the from? The same stable of actors. Man, they're the old kind with the bunny ears. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Stop pushing! You're gonna make me pee! Yeah, this one's a little... It's different, I'll give it that. And it's not different in a negative way. Huh? Is this... Did we... Make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Well, what time is it? Looks like we were in so the for a while. Whatever this other world is, is like our dungeon for this game, I'm guessing. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. <coughs> That's the poster we saw. Excuse me. What's up now? What's up, Doc? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face. Really? Was like, she wasn't missing so writing. much of the face that you couldn't. She's been all over the news lately. Her Think husband was the her one. Her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Man, you guys don't really pay attention to what's going on, huh? Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. You're like 17, dude. You'll, you'll recover. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Interesting. Pretty interesting. I guess we'll see where it goes from here. Hey, welcome home. You look like you've seen hell. Sorry, we didn't make a ramen for you. You still feel sluggish. 
Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? I was just introduced to her yesterday. Uh, people feel sorry for her. She wasn't at school. She discovered the body. I guess she discovered the body. Yeah, that's true. Where do you think Matt Mercer will show up? I thought I heard him as one of the classmates, but I'm... Uh, it's really hard to tell his voice because he sounds super similar to Troy Baker to me. So I have to, like, really be paying attention. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. Uh-oh. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown, but the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. See, they put the stress correct on that one. Usually, it feels like the rule is if there's a three-syllable word in Japanese, the accent feels like it goes on uh, second syllable. Yukiko. Ama, like Amagi. Yuki. Yukiko. So Yukiko. Amagi. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from If it's a four-syllable, like Amegawa, it's like Amegawa. Amegawa. Like... I mean, got like it's on the third syllable. Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If it's two syllables, it's on the first one, Saki. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip uh, there. Ah, uh, Megawa. That's a. Uh, it'd be Ame. So it'd be like Ame Ga and then like Wa after Ame Gawa. Ame Gawa. Ga Ga Ga. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Even the word by itself, Kawa, which is what it, um, that part of the word is Kawa, which means river. Um,. Whenever it comes after a vowel, they change it to a ga sound because it's easier to say amegawa than amekawa because that's a k k k. There's like a little bit of a puff of air whenever you say k. So amegawa flows out of your mouth uh, more easily. And that's why we use an before um, words to start with a vowel so that it flows better. Because you say, if I have to go uh, Ass black, like I have to say, you know, I have a art school. The pause makes it sound uh, awkward. Ass brasta, I mean, I don't know what ass brasta. So, ass is just one Visibility will syllable. Be so, reduced. us, the stress so is on us. But, brasta, brasta, one, two, three, so, bra, bra, brasta. Burasuta. So, like, that one's kind of, like, technically four syllables, but whenever su is next to something that starts with a consonant, it they connect it. They don't say burasuta. They say brasta. So it turns into, like, a three-syllable um, word. So bra, brasta, bra. The accent is on the second syllable. Ra, brasta. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn run by Yukiko's family. Zawarudo? Warudo, so three, so Zawaru, Waru, Zawarudo. Waru, so again, the accent's in the middle. Warudo, Warudo, three syllables. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. So Konishi, Konishi. Oh, for heaven's sake, Nanako. And Nana, Nanako, Nana, Nanako. Bless you. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Except Nanako is different. I think it's it's not like Nanako. I think it's Nanako. So that one's different. 
Loda Lorada? That, what is that supposed to be? Nanako. Are those onomatopoeia? Yeah, like Nanako. I don't think they say Nanako. Maybe they you do. Should get to bed after you take it. I will, Don Whitehorse. Road roller? So, road roller would be... Ro so, lodo. And if it, if they make it long vowel, lodo, the accent is on the second, um, the elongated vowel, lodo. Lodo lora. And that would also be a long vowel because that's how they usually do it in Japanese. Lodo lora. And lo, so it would again be on the long vowel. The accent would be like on the long vowel. Lodo lora. If that's how you say that. If they say lodo for road instead of loda. I learned all my English from Dio. <laughs> English from Dio. That's funny. Well, that was interesting. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Lodo lora. Like, I assume it would be long vowel. It usually is. No, Saki! What a bummer. We have to stop these murders. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm it's off. like, oh man, this reminds me of something, but what is it? Kind of like the Frighteners, but like not the Frighteners. There's something else that this reminds me of. I can't. It's in my brain somewhere, but I cannot think of where this story is like similar to like a supernatural murders that keep happening and you have to like stop it before it's too late. Frighteners is one example, but like that movie's kind of um, silly. I guess this is kind of silly, so maybe it is closer to Frighteners. Nanako looks worried. I can't think of it. Serial Experiments Lane. I remember you talked about Lane, but I never saw it with you. You can hear girls gossiping. I, looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. Poor Saki. You live by the police station, she didn't deserve don't to be you? killed. Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Um, that's a girl who plays Nan by the sounds of it. it. Seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. Poor Sock. Oh, dudes, we see the people who's dying next. Okay, this is all starting to come hey, together. We saw someone with long curly hair who looked like Saki and she was hanging upside down. So we're seeing who the killer is going to kill each time. Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know. Nan. It seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh. It's nothing. All of the pieces are starting to connect in my brain. Everyone, please. Oh yeah, let's have the lady who always wears the Egyptian headdress give the stupid thing. First, the principal has something to say. The, our principal is Dumbledore? Man, that's pretty cool. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of class three, has passed away. Passed away? I mean, they didn't see the cutscene that we saw, so they didn't know that was her. <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Oh, what a bummer. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Yeah, we wouldn't want to embarrass the school. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> Principal's address continues. Goodness. Or address, I guess. Principal's address. 
address. See, we're talking about accents. Address is when someone tells you something. Address is where you live. So, principal's address continues. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. That's Applehead. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. All the pieces are falling in they place. Said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? We're seeing the murders happen on the midnight channel. And I'm guessing the whole game is us trying to stop <laughs> the killer. Like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you two don't pay attention. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey. Even by persona standards, this one does take forever to get like combat involved. So far it's like we've just been watching a movie. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me. So I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki Senpai. Yeah, that's what I thought, no you know, I pieced it together. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, uh, Ms. Yamano yeah. might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? I'm something of a detective myself. People who appear on that TV die? That is what I'm saying, yes. I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. In that room with the posters on the wall. It has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right. Why, well, I had a nightmare where there was a guy taunting me, but I didn't tell anybody. Die in the game, die in real life? It's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. Die on TV, die in real life, but close enough. That would explain the posters in that room. I mean, the TV is real life. It's a weird dimension where people get thrown into. Man, this is so similar to something that I cannot put my... I can't put a name to. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. It's weird because it's not like the first game where it's like this apocalyptic plot Don't so far. This. It's just a murder just mystery, which is good. It's not bad. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't Fuck made any the police. progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. It's up to you, I'm team go leader. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Can it be any TV? Oh, I guess we couldn't fit in that first TV. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. I mean, yeah, by Persona standards, we haven't done any combat aside from at the very beginning for like two again. hours. Only us 16 year old kids can wrap our heads around this. What should we do? No, we'll go with Yosuke. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. You arrive to the same conclusion. Are you serious? Well, okay, let's go. Yes, save your progress. Cool. Combat? I mean, I don't mind. So far, this is kind of neat. Just, you know. Although it does feel like if I don't uh, you guys came. have any 
input, it be it'll probably become less interesting as time goes on. We came to stop you, idiots! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. If I ever do a uh, if I ever do a second playthrough of this, I'm gonna have to see if any of these dialogue choices were important. I know, we were able to come back once, right? I could Google that, I guess. Um, do dialogue. Oops, not Dodd. Dialogue. Choices. Matter. People already typed out most of the sentence for me. Good job, Google. Persona. Not Persoba. Persona for Golden. Each of these optional side stories requires you to choose dialogue wise. Okay, so it's just social links. Some no, some choices made throughout the game may give you a social stat increase, and your choices during social links affect how many points closer. Oh, okay, so social stat increases, huh? I mean, free social stat increases are nice. I wish, uh... However, your choices at a certain part of the game do affect the ending. Okay, well, I'm not going to read too much more of that, but that's good to know. I obviously want to make the right choices. But yeah, obviously, well, if it's like the other games, then yeah, social link dialogue choices matter. But dog dicks? Uh, did I miss? <laughs> what am I walking into with something like that? Like, what did I miss? You can't just say dog dicks and expect me to get what the fuck you're throwing down. If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that barrack. That I said something DD related or something. Maybe isn't good enough. Look. I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this is And if it's a reference to, to something, it's flown over my head. It's a whoosh moment. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I'm worried about Chie. Here, let me suck up to... There's no time what may happen over there. You voiced your concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding has increased. Oh, okay, so this is what they were talking about. I have to, like, pander to, to people. My Google search? No. That's gross. Yeah. I've searched many minutes. things in my life, but uh, that's not one of them. Don't worry, and if it's ever been dick plan. related, it's been celebrity Jay, dick related. I'll be full this. transparency on, you know, cognito mode. Huh? What's that? A rope? I'm going to whack him with this giant golf club. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? What is this, poltergeist? Here. Norio. This is for you. Obtained a golf club and medicine times three. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. All right, let's go. Did I mention she was dead? No well, she time. was. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the Don't rope. you remember he was golfing all the time and she hated him for it? Hey! I said wait! Oh, okay, so she's not an actual party member. Maybe. Oh, I wonder if Chie is going to be the one who identifies personas for us because she's into technology, maybe? Man, this doesn't look weird at all. Uh oh. See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? It just sort of came clean off. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh man, it's like. Is this. Oh, it's in my brain, just like at the cusp of me knowing. Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys. Oh my god. You come back? Oh, we're here to stop the murders, Sam Regal. Or maybe you're the one that hey, tells idiot. us the weaknesses. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came Plastic here. golf club and, and some Tylenol. Prepped and ready to go. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. 
<laughs> it's okay, Sam Regal. You don't have to make that noise. Shut up. Don't hell no. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a a murderer? All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Yeah, you're kind of slow on the uptake there, buddy. Throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? Don't worry, just talk while I'm right here standing in front of you. If that's the case, what are you guys mumbling about? At least, <laughs> you come here At least he calls it out. It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Oh shit! What? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. Well, then join our party. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Well, we didn't bring anybody with us this time. Shut up. Proof? It doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up. Because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. Oh, That's dude, of course. It reminds me of Silent Hill 4. You're trying to stop Walter Sullivan the entire time. It's kind of like whoever the bad guy is that taunted me in my dreams is like the Walter Sullivan of this one or whatever his name is. It's not Sullivan. I, no, 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 it is Walter Sullivan. I was like, it sounds creepy in here. People are dying in mysterious ways. It's kind of like I've been saying this whole time. It's like Silent Hill, but that's not a bad thing. A little cartoony. Silent Hill is more scary and serious. This is like, you know, Silent Hill light. He's like Walter Sullivan, whoever that dude is. It, it was taunting me. It us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Those headphones are interfering with his brain. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. Like, you know, you're not going to see a, a teenager arguing with a giant cute bear in Silent Hill. I had it but with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I was like, why do I keep thinking of mysterious murders and it's like supernatural? And I was like, of course. The answer was right in front of me in Silent Hill 4. I'm just saying you might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. Of course. Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a... Mixed with a little bit of like Hellraiser or something. I don't know. Is something being filmed here? But like not really in that way. Because Hellraiser's hella gory. Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. You know what a camera this is? This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Are you the only one that lives here? Always been like this? What do you mean? Run that by me again? Always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Shadows, you say? We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either. I mean, you know, matter. two hours and 20 minutes into the game, we finally figure out what a shadow is. You but then again, us to prove our innocence, but the buildup has been interesting. Like, it doesn't bother me. Maybe you're the real culprit. In terms of like a watching experience, you're really only watching me did. react to what the story is I'd at this point. It's time but... you showed your face. Oh god, don't do it. Oh my oh. god! What the hell are you? <laughs> it's empty. He didn't even have to fucking unzip his little thingy. 
Yeah, yeah, let's not help him put it back on after you tore his head off. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I mean, this is, I like this. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. It feels like so far, like, being a high school student is, like, taking a back burner to all this. More so, it was, like, such a huge thing in the, in P3. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. You know, it took you ripping my head off for me to realize your innocence. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Okay, that's fair. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> Would you stop? What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. He says, you know, it says, you know, it's okay. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. Uh, what did it say? The mysterious bear. You can hit backlog. Oh. No, 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 I don't want to skip. Encounter a misfortune at your destination. Oh, son of a bitch. A There's no way I could go back. Be and I sure as... Oh, I could reload a save, but I really don't want to do that. I thought that they told me I could go back by hitting the back button, but that didn't work at all. What if I hit back twice? Nope, it skips You're forward. The only ones I can ask. What about start? You promise me? Oh, thank God, you just pushed start. Okay, I'll have to read this. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to skip forward on that. <laughs> 